Hey guys, Chris from Average Escape Reviews here, and today in this video we're going to be taking a look at Evolve Gears Explained. Now this is definitely a subject that I've struggled with. Of course, I know that Evolve do have a section on their website where they break down the different gears, what results you get from different setups, but it being on a table form, and me being a very visual person in terms of I need to be able to see the actual gear, the actual belt, the actual wheel size for me to be able to process and understand it. If anyone else out there is struggling with the exact same subject, I'm hoping we'll be able to clear all of those points up in this video. So when you go onto Evolve's website and you're looking at purchasing one of their boards, for example with street wheels, you have two different gear options or two different setups you can have, which is the 32 tooth gear or the 38 tooth gear. Now when we look at the 80 wheels, with the 7 inch 80 wheel you have the 66 tooth gearing option, and with the 6 inch 80 wheel you have the 47 tooth and also the 66 tooth gearing option. So what does this all mean? When you pair these up with different wheels, what can that result in? So the general rule of thumb here is when you go with a smaller gear, you're gonna have a better top end in terms of your speed, but your acceleration and your braking will be a bit softer. Now in reverse, when you go with a bigger gear, your acceleration and braking will be much better, but your top speed will suffer. And when we look at the 80 wheels or the all-terrain wheels, you have two gearing options. When we look at the six inch wheel, you have a 47 tooth gear and also a 66 tooth gear. And when we look at the 7 inch AT wheel, you have a 66 tooth gearing option. But we'll break everything down in this video and explain the differences between what you get when you pick a different wheel with a different setup in terms of the gear. So let's jump into it and hopefully clear the complications up. So to explain our results from testing out all of the different gear options with the different wheel options, I'm going to be first starting off with the 32 tooth gear, which is a gearing option that is only going to be used on street wheels. We'll start off with the smallest street wheel and work our way up to the largest, and I'm going to do the exact same thing when we move on to the all-terrain or the AT wheels. Now when you go onto Evolve's website and you purchase a board, if you pick it up with street wheels, the gearing option that you're going to have with that board is going to be 32 tooth. If you want to get anything else, you have to buy that as standard or separate purchase. Now when we look at the 80 options that you have, again standardly it's the 7 inch all-terrain wheel which comes with the 66 tooth gear. If you want the 47 to use with, for example, the 6 inch AT wheel, which is the setup that I am very very fond of, that has to be bought separately. Now as a side note, I've mentioned this before, if you do put the 47 tooth gear on the 7 inch wheel, you can do that, the 7 inch AT wheel, uh, but it does mean that you are going to experience motor heating issues. The motors can't take the amount of strain that's put on them when you set up the 47 tooth gear with a 7 inch AT wheel. So bear that in mind. Now when we look at the 85 millimeter wheel or 85 millimeter street wheel with a 32 tooth gear setup, in terms of your top speed you're going to be sitting somewhere between 23 and 24 miles an hour. Acceleration and braking with this setup is going to be good. Now bear in mind all of the details I'm giving you especially with the top speed is going to be dependent on the rider, the terrain you're riding on, the environment you're riding on, we've mentioned this countless times before, but these are the findings that we are getting when we test out the different options. And for reference, I'm about 76 kilograms. Now from there, moving on to the 97 millimeter wheel, again with the 32 tooth gear setup. Top speed in this wheel, we're getting somewhere between 24 and 26 miles an hour, depending on where and what we're riding on. And the acceleration and braking, again, I'm gonna rate this as good. Now lastly, in the 32 tooth gear setup is gonna be the 107 millimeter wheel. In terms of top speed, sitting somewhere between 28 and 30 miles an hour. And the braking and acceleration here, I'm gonna rate as moderate. Much bigger wheel, bigger diameter wheel, in other words, so your braking and acceleration isn't gonna be as quick or hard as a softer wheel, just for reference. And before we move on to the 38 tooth gear, I wanted to mention that the belt that you're gonna have with any wheel setup with the 32 tooth gear is gonna be the GT003, so bear that in mind. Now moving on to the 38 tooth gear, starting off again with the smallest wheel. When we look at this setup over here, which is the 85 millimeter wheel with the 38 tooth gear, top speed is gonna be between 20 and 22 miles an hour. In terms of your acceleration and braking, I'm gonna rate this as amazing. Remember the point that we said earlier on about the gear size and how that affects acceleration and braking? This is clear evidence of that. From there, it's gonna be the 97 millimeter wheel. Over here, the top speed is somewhere between 22 and 24 miles an hour. And again, acceleration and braking, I'm gonna rate that as amazing. Very responsive, very sharp, not in a sense that you feel dangerous, but the gear setup along with these wheels just results in great acceleration and braking. Now, lastly in this category is gonna be the 107 millimeter wheels. Top speed is somewhere between 24 and 26 miles an hour, and your acceleration and braking with this setup over here is great. Bigger diameter wheel, so you can't expect the acceleration and braking to be as amazing as the other two wheeling options, but it's still great in comparison. And of course, for reference, the belt that you're gonna be using with the 38 tooth gear, regardless of which street wheels you put on it, is gonna be the GT004. 
Now moving on to the all-terrain wheels. Again with the other ones, we're gonna start with the smaller wheel and work our way up to the largest. This is the 47 tooth gear setup with the six inch AT or all-terrain wheels. This is my favorite setup. In terms of the top speed with this setup over here, I'm getting around 26 miles an hour pretty consistently with this setup over here. In terms of the acceleration, I'm gonna rate that as moderate and the braking, I'm gonna set that as good. Just for reference, the 47 tooth gear with the six inch AT wheel, the belt that that setup requires is the GT006. Next up is gonna be the 66 tooth gear with the six inch wheel setup. In terms of your top speed there, you're looking at somewhere between 20 and 23 miles an hour. Braking and acceleration, I'm gonna rate that both as moderate. So this brings us to the end. Last but not least is gonna be the 66 tooth gearing option with the seven inch AT wheel. In terms of your top speed, it's gonna be between 20 and 23 miles an hour. And your acceleration and braking, I'm gonna rate that as good. And of course, in terms of the 66 tooth gear with the seven inch AT, the belt that you need for this setup is gonna be the GT001. It's very difficult to compare the seven inch setup to the six inch setup because not only is it on a different teeth or different tooth gearing option, it's also a different diameter wheel. So it makes it very tricky to be able to rate them, but this is as close as we could get to giving you hopefully accurate information so you can make the best decision when picking different setups for yourself. So as always guys, a big thank you for watching the video all the way to the end. Hopefully this has helped shed a bit of light into the wizardry of gearing options and how it affects your ride. Just remember, the bigger the gear, the better your braking and acceleration. The smaller the gear, the better your top end, but your braking and acceleration will be slightly softer. That's kind of like the rule of thumb that you can always go away with. But if you have any questions, leave them down below in the comment section. Don't forget to thumbs up the video because that really helps us out. And of course, make sure you are subscribed with the notification bell on so you can stay up to date with all of the videos that we post. This is also a really good time to tell you that the podcast is now available on all the major podcasting sites or services like Spotify, Apple Podcasts. So make sure that you're listening as well as watching the episodes here live on YouTube. But as always, a big thank you for watching, guys. Thumbs up, subscribe, and take care till next time.